It's live whites. Try any way you can to get a shot. You do, you move, you do whatever you want. I want to put a little pressure on this 3-2 this zone to see if it's just a mirage. Because I'll be honest with you. I don't think you're moving your feet fast enough, Blue. I think you're in a zone right now, and the mentality is, it's a zone, so all I got to do is slide a little bit this way or that. That's the biggest thing you have to overcome if you're going to teach a good zone. You got to cover the ball hard. You got to slide to a new area. You've got to be as energetic with your defensive stance and footwork as you would be in man-to-man -man defense. Can you do it? Can you hustle even harder? Let's go. Try to get a shot, White. High hands. All right, there's a turnover. It, was it a forced turnover? Maybe, but you were, at least were there. You know, sometimes the offense worries about it and they don't look the ball in their hands. Any way to get a shot, White. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You are too lazy for the point. The ball, it started there? Yeah, that was a It started there? Yeah. Well, then you should have been down here right away. Right? And you should have been out there. If it started there, even more reason. Then the ball started there, you should have been right here to start the drill. Not, well, you know what? She's supposed to pass the ball out. I'm going to leave that open. All right? All right? Yeah. Can you handle this? I'm just being a little hard on you. I'm having a little fun with you. Here we go. Big hands, high hands. There it is. All right, that's good. That's that's the kind of steals you will get in this kind of defense. Here we go. High hands. You're too low in the wings. Fr freeze the ball. Freeze the ball. There were there were a couple of areas when I substituted in basketball. There are a couple of things that I would look for. Number one, if we're playing zone and we really are emphasizing playing big, if kids were just dropping their hands down, to me that was as much of an indication that they were tired as, you know, guys that hang on to their shorts on free throws. Because the announcers always say, oh, are they tired? Look at the way they're grabbing their shorts. If you can't slide with hands up, then that was me. All right, let's get so-and-so in. They need a breather. Obviously, the other is if you're not moving your feet, you're not, you know, getting up and down. If I was playing you at the point and I saw you weren't moving up and down the lane, I'd say he's not hustling. And out on the other side of the ball, quickest way to come out is to turn the ball over time after time and to take bad rush shots. Other than that, you'd stay in the game. All right, here we go. High hands! <laughs> See, Co Coach is a crafty old veteran. He, he knows where the gaps are. That shot was, I, I want to see where the breakdown came, all right? She took that good shot. You took it? Good shot. Didn't go in, all right? Ball's down there. Go ahead, get the ball down there. Where should you have been? Ooh, who was? Well, then you came too far. You at least, you at least should have been right here. Because then all you would have to do is, is get into the rebounding position. You were out there. You were wide. Uh, yeah, I think you came and boxed that area. All I know is there was a soft, soft underbelly area, and Coach just slid into it. And even if you did get caught out here, even if the shot was, so what did you do? I just went. You just went? Yeah, yeah. Well, then at least what you do, go ahead. you got to get there. You gotta get there. You gotta just say, I'll lay my body on and try to carve out that position. Okay. At his age, he beat you with more aggressiveness.